We are joined by UC Irvine head coach David Niffin. To his right, Ilaire Heno. To his ref, left, Will Darcy and Akil Tangeter after a 3-0 victory in the first round of the 2023 Outringer Big West Men's Volleyball Championship presented by the Hawaiian Islands. We will start by asking Coach for an opening statement and then open the floor to questions from media members. We ask all media to please identify yourself and your outlet before asking your question. Coach, if you would please just start us off with your thoughts on tonight's match. Sure. Uh... Playoff volleyball is a total reset for the season, so we had seen Northridge recently, but also uh, respect the fact that we play in what I perceive as the toughest conference in the country and uh, against a team of really physical guys. We figured they would get on some streaks tonight, and they did. Um, we also figured if we stayed consistent and just kind of stayed within ourselves and, and tried not to stretch beyond our current abilities uh, over time, we would be okay. Uh, but I thought the boys did a nice job of just uh, resetting quickly and getting on to the next play, so proud of the effort there. Good evening, Coach. My name is Taryn Rodriguez, host of Set Point Volleyball Podcast on IE Sports Radio. All right, Coach, your team won this match, but there were some times where it was close, like in set number two, CSUN was trying to nibble away at the lead, and then in set three, you were down, but then you were able to reestablish yourselves. What did you have to do in order to make sure CSUN didn't get the edge over you? Yeah, it's always tough to play from behind against good physical teams. Uh, we needed to cut down on our errors a little bit, and it was nice we were able to do a little lineup change and give ourselves a different look. Um, so I think you know that, that kind of helped stabilize us and give us a little bit more size at the net, which slowed them down just a little bit. And then Will, playing in your first ever Big West Conference tournament, how does it feel getting that first match under your belt and knowing the playoff-like atmosphere? Um, yeah, it's a little bit nervous going out there into that environment, um, but I think having the, the students there and some, you know, your good mates on the bench, it's, it's not that hard at the end of the day, and it's a good bit of fun there, um, no matter the score, just playing point for point, it was, yeah, we could get the win, but yeah, on to tomorrow for sure. And then Halir, obviously you led the way with 12 kills, what was it like playing with Joe Carlos for the first time in this conference tournament as this was his first Big West Conference tournament. I don't think it changed that much from, like we've been playing together for a year now. We're pretty confident with our abilities to connect with each other. So I don't think it was really a challenge, but there was definitely some times where the set was not perfect and I was getting frustrated with myself. So I was making some not normal errors, but I, I think I'm proud of, <coughs> I'm proud of uh, me of resetting like every time, like short memory, like maybe it was a bad set because it happened to the best. So just proud of what we did and how Joe played. I would echo that too. I'm proud of your effort tonight. It uh, it's a really hard thing to do to to be a mature volleyball player and have a short memory. And we have some guys that are so passionate about the game, and that's something that uh, it's been cool to watch some of these guys specifically work on. Uh, to take ownership over those situations where there's a less than perfect situation and say. I can still be better there, so I was proud of that as well. And then the kill, obviously filling in for Cole. How does it feel knowing that you're getting these this, this playoff minutes and you basically anchored the defense with six digs along with Joe and you managed to get a few swings in there? Yeah, I mean, I think I've been preparing the whole year for this. Even if I'm, I haven't been on the court, I've still been training and like I've played in the years in the past and I feel like I just like especially being at home in the brand on court twenty one, it's just it's just easy to play with my teammates and look around and I feel like it all just comes together. So that's that that helps a lot with that. And this is a question for coach and I, any of you can echo this. Tomorrow you're playing Long Beach State. It's round three against the beach. Last week you saw them twice and you you fell just a little short. What's it gonna take to take down Long Beach and what do you think the adjustments are going to be made in order to correct what you need to correct? Yeah. Short memory on when we went to the pyramid uh, would be a good starting spot because that was about the worst we've played in a while. And then um, in terms of our match, you know, just we need to be better at playing within our current abilities. I think something that's really easy to do when you're playing a good team uh, is to press and feel like we have to do more. 
And we just made a few more errors, I think, uh, down the stretch against Long Beach the first time, and then again the second time we played them really. Um, so I think just owning our own style of volleyball play and trusting that's either enough or it isn't. Uh, but if we're going to win or lose with the team, we want to do it our way. And then last question for you, Coach. You got to play some of your reserves like Ste Stefan and Maxim obviously contributed for the team as well. Who are some other players that contributed to this win? Uh, Big Will Darcy over here. Uh, certainly out there as one of our guys that hasn't seen a ton of time lately, but has been like a keel, just kind of in practice, doing the things they need to do to get better. And when they walk out on the court, it's not like it's some mystery of what they're going to do. They're just doing what they do every day in practice. Uh, so once they can get past the nervous part of it and you know realize that those are a lot of friendly faces in the crowd, it's just kind of business as usual. Um, and you know, same with Max. Max has been on the court a little bit more, but those are kind of the, the main guys on the night. Dylan obviously stepped in, and Dylan's incredibly athletic and incredibly bright and uh, incredibly competitive, and kept it very simple tonight and just ran a nice clean offense for us. Made some nice plays. Thanks so much. Good to go.